Hello everyone, my name is Mansan, and today we're going to be going over how to make a camera shake effect with wiggle expressions. Before we get started, let me show you an example of what we want to achieve in the end. Inside a human blood vessel, a macrophage searches for invading bacteria with its membrane-bound TLR4. So this is a great effect to give some life to your shot. It gives kind of a handheld, shaky camera feel. So this is quite easy to achieve. I've already imported my footage into my After Effects file, so I rendered it out already. Let's create a new composition by just dragging it onto the comp. All right, so from here, to make it oscillate, we're going to write an expression for its position. So just press P to get the position, and Option, click on the little stopwatch option if you're on a Mac. And from here, type wiggle. And I'm going to do 5, comma, 10. And I'll explain what these two numbers mean in a bit. So let's just watch what happens. So you can see a little bit of oscillating that is happening to the position of this file. So that's good, but what if we want to control the speed of the wiggling so that when we stop on the macrophage, we can have it slow down a little bit to give a more realistic feel that we've slowed down time to focus on that macrophage. So to do that, we're going to create a null object, and that will be our control for our wiggle effect. And this is something I learned from Jason Rain from In Vivo. Um, they do wonderful medical animations and he came to my university a couple months ago and showed us how to do this. So, whoops, what am I doing? So from here, if you just click on the name and you press enter, then you can change the name of your layer. We're going to call this wiggle controller. And from here, we're going to drag on a slider slider control. And this will help us control the frequency and the amount of wiggle. So going back to these two numbers, the first number over here, that is what controls the frequency of the wiggle per second. And over here, the second number controls the amount of wiggle in pixels or degrees. What we're going to do is rename these. So I'm going to name this frequency, and I'm going to name this amount. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this number, and we're going to pick with it to the slider of frequency. So now the slider will be controlling the frequency in our wiggle. So we're going to do the same for the amount. We're going to pick whip it to the amount. And now this slider, the amount slider, will control the frequency. So from here, we can now keyframe the amounts that we want. So let's say up until we get to about here, we want a frequency of, let's say, 5 wiggles, and we want the amount to be 10. Or let's make it higher so we can see a greater difference, 15. So we just click on the stopwatch, we'll create 
keyframes. And once we stop here, we want the frequency to go down and the amount to go down. So let's do three and three. So it looks like we've slowed down in time. Now it's gonna slow down. And we're gonna to move to around here where it starts to move again. But before it starts to move again, let's just add keyframes. So that same amount, frequency of three and amount of three. And then we'll change it back to these previous settings. So five and 15 and here, five and 15. If we play it now, so I'm just gonna random preview it. All right. So if I play it now. Inside a human blood vessel, a macrophage searches for invading bacteria with its membrane-bound TLR4. It's a little bit crazy because our, our amount is a little bit high, but you can see how when we get to this part, we were able to control the wiggle and reduce it. And then once we get back to here, it's faster again. So now we have the problem of areas like this part being black. So to avoid having that area being black, we can scale up our .mob file to around 105. So now that even if it wiggles, it'll stay black edges won't show. So that's it. Very quick and easy. And this certainly brings life to a shot that would otherwise be still. And that's how I originally had it. And I recently got some very constructive feedback during my industry day, which is when I showed my projects to some companies in Toronto. And one of the feedback they gave me was to add a little bit of camera shake. So that's what I've done here. And it's very easy and Anyone can do it. So here you go. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.